Hey everybody, it's Splinter here. Um, last time, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rishi for Destruction. We need some duel. We started off the game. Uh, we named our character and we start our deck. Today we are gonna do some dueling. Let's challenge, um, Mohawk guy. You challenge people by pressing R, um, right next to them as if you want to talk to them. Sure thing. A duel's a duel, no matter where it's played. Let's see, we're gonna ante up Mazus and fast forward and go. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna play some defense mode here. Good. good. Let's get to Mystic Lamp. A Mystic Lamp, if you activate its effect, um, will, um, what do you call it? Um, are you kidding me? I'm black. <laughs> really? Wow. Uh, no, it will attack your opponent's life points directly. As you can see, you activate an effect by clicking on the card and activating effect. Now, most cards don't actually have effects. Like, you see cards in normal. Regular shade um, don't have effects. Cards and darker shade or orange shade like Mystic Lamp have effects. And effects can be activated at certain times and they have certain effects in battle other than just attacking and defending. Alright. Let's see here. Um, a little bit of a tip. You usually, if you want, we'll, you know, we'll get into that later. He's gonna attack here. Come on, no lag. And here we go. All right, looking looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good. All right, he's gonna set a card in defense mode. I'm gonna put a Edaboggin. Basically, um, what Edaboggin does is that it um, any card that has 1,000 attack or less, um, it destroys it off the field. Or um, it, it destroys it when it attacks you. So it's it's what's called, called a trap card. Trap cards are activated. Um, can't be just regularly activated. They have to be triggered by something. And it's like triggered by like you know like a trap. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory there. But see, Edaboggin, and, uh, and I'm going to and that's going to destroy his uh, card that was trying to attack me. And I'm just going to attack him with the rest of our cards. And easy peasy, we win the duel. Hooray! Pressing increase by three, and we get Ancient Jar. We got a shitty card. Great. Tisk lost that one. We can go heal up. All right, now we're gonna continue. We're gonna challenge. Uh, excuse me. We're gonna challenge. If these things won't get in the way, we're. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna challenge this guy. Oh, that guy doesn't duel. I forgot. One of these guys didn't duel, and that was a guy. This guy does. Oh. There we go. Exactly what the duel I've been waiting for. Let's do all. All right. Press forward, and go. Let's see. I'm gonna put Lightning Conger in defense mode. Um, if you're wondering, if you want to see their attack and defenses, um, there's a little corner over there that shows, like, um, right here. It shows their attack, their attack, their defense, um, their um, attributes. I mean, this is thunder and their type. That's a, a, a lightning or something like that. It's basically electric. And Lehigol has the same effect as Mystical Lamp, it's just not as powerful. Let's see, I'm gonna put um, Cyber Commander up there. And you know what? These cards are pretty weak, so I'm just gonna attack with Lightning Conger. I'm gonna tribute this. This guy on here die, and I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Don't make me Tasuno Tosashigo, something like that. And god damn it, more cards that okay. Uh, Final Destiny basically destroys everything. Destroys everything on your hand, everything on the and everything on the field. So it can be a pretty useful card in very tight situations. You know, else is a tight situation. 120 hours. That was a very tight situation. See, I was gonna do a your mom joke there, but I didn't because I'm mature. Hmm, giggity. Wow, way to disprove my own point. Anyway, I'm gonna attack here. Yeah, might. Nah, I'm gonna have to win next turn. Dang it. All right, and now this guy's gonna go nowhere. Um. Hmm. Nah, should I just, uh, show how I activate an effect. Alright, so Mystic Lamp's effect is, um, I think you get detail, you get, 
if you press L, you can see all the attack defenses right there. If you press R on a card, you can see their hand. I believe if you press um, B on a card, you can see details. And a chain lamp that has special power to defeat its stats. It can attack. Basically, it attacks with your opponent's side points directly. Press activate effect. And Mystic Lamp, you can activate its effect right there. Effects can only be activated like that. can only be activated once, I believe, or depending on the card. Um, and voila, we win. Let's see, and we get change slide. Yeah, you're going to get some pretty shitty cards from these duelists. Um, eh, I'm not going to heal. What the fuck? These guys are pretty bad, so it's going to be okay. Um, let's go actually north the Red Hat Lady. A street duel? Sure, let's duel. Whoa, that was really weird. Alright, let's see. Wing. What the fuck is happening there? Wing clear. And it's gonna attack. And ooh, this thing actually has a muster. It has 500. Oh my god, this the game's glitchy as hell. There we go. Is it, is it, is it just when I fast forward or not? Oh, weird. Yeah, it's, it's, it's being weird. Um, let's see. Why you wanna? Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna do Back into Darkness. Back into Darkness. I'll show you what it does. I think I showed you what it did last turn time, but again, anyway, you know, just for for shits and giggles. Not like I can lose it. Not like I can lose this duel anyway. All right. Uh, Sparks. It this inflicts 50 um damage to the opponent. See weather control, um, dark ones. Got Phantom doing weather control here. And Cleaver, good, good, good. Got this one in the bag. The first few duels are really hard to lose. Just FYI, really hard to lose. Jenin, yeah, sure. Heal attack. Heal attack. Oh, we're gonna be so close. We're gonna have to wait till next turn. Alright, let's see how me to tribute with Cleaver. Go die, and if I'm doing, boom. Dual victory. Nice and Damio, and we get change slime again. So I know I need to be better. Let's challenge this guy. You must be a bad duelist if you're out here. That's kind of an insult to yourself. I mean, you must be really bad if you're out here. Um, you're out here, so you must be really bad. Arcs, and I'm gonna get. I attack? I'm actually gonna put him in defense mode. I think this might. Let's see. Yeah. All right. And that's not. Oh. Okay. We do. We got a good monster here. Um. Let's attack him. And then attack Tron Run. Oh, that little fat guy's name. Oh God damn it! Stop! Stop doing those cards. They're annoying because they actually inflict some damage to me. All right. Genin kill. I should probably tribute next turn, which I'll, which I'll, I'm gonna do. Okay, I've been waiting to explain this thing for a long time. You might have known that. Wait a second, Mo that um, monster eye only has 230, 250 attack. That thing had 600 attack. How to destroy it? One of the features about this game that some people hated, I personally really liked, was its Pokemon-like stuff. Like, no. Okay, that was bad. Anyway, all right, so. You have, um, you have, um, some different things. You know how, like, um, electric is super effective against water? Same in this game. If an electric monster attacks a water monster, the water monster is automatically destroyed. Some of them are a little bit weird, like, wind destroys rock. Um, I'll get more into the types later. I'm um, like, shadow destroys light, dream destroys shadow, fiend destroys dream, um... A water destroys fire, electric destroys water, rock destroys electric, yada yada yada. Can I win this turn if I do this? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice him and get Domain Angel Silence out here, and boom, we win the duel. So, yes, that's one of the things about this game. So, you could have overall a better deck, uh, but I may be wrong, you're pretty tough. Um, you can have an overall better deck than the opponent, but they can have, like, if your deck's entirely made of water types, and they make, like, one electric type out there, you're fucked. So it adds an... Actually, you can challenge that guy, but it adds an extra bit of strategy, and... Oh my god, just... There we go, I want to get with the times out of a street battle. You're on. 
All right. That's another one of the mechanics of this game. That can sometimes get kind of annoying. Let's see, push some Phantom Thief. Die. See, right there. He's a fiend type. I was a dream type, so he destroyed me. Um, I'm just going to get Morphin Guard number two. Destroy him. So you really want to be careful if you have all of your... Mo like, if you have, like, one monster out there, you want to be really careful about sacrificing for a monster, be especially attacking a face-down defense card monster, especially if it's a different type than that, because a face-down defense card monster could be a um, type that could destroy that monster. So, it would be interesting. You see how I'm not attacking with um, coming in a Kazo, even though if I attack with that, I would could do 100 more damage if I attack with both Morphing Guard number 2 and Fear Seeking, because if that monster was, say, a rock type, see, see right there, um, why, it's kind of what you want to be careful about. Um, as you see right there, that was a rock type. If that had been face down, I could have summoned Kamara, what the fuck it is, attack it, Kamara thingy would have been destroyed, and I would do less damage. So it's not, so you don't want to attack a face down defense monster with a monster you just summoned. That's usually a pretty good rule. So let's see, what do I want to do right now? I'm going to sacrifice this thing and get this thing right here. Cool. All right. So that that being explained right there, you'll see what I mean. The more we progress in the game, All right? We're gonna attack that thing. Attack. All right, we got this one in the bag. Um, he's gonna helplessly defend. You know what? Just to be an asshole. Double tribute all the way, and you can see the um, beast of Talwar has a two on it. That means it needs two tributes in order to destroy it, or in order to not destroy it. No, to summon it. Dual victory. Hang on, oh, sinister serpent. Yeah, we're getting pretty shitty cards. Um, let's face the nerd guy. Um, even though um, I don't even know what he said, doesn't really matter. They don't ever have anything interesting or useful to say. Okay, back in the darkness as I can, and here we go. Let's get there. Nope, attack. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna. I promise you guys that fire. I will probably upload another episode of Fire Red later today. Um, I'm just. I'm trying to get the ball rolling on this let's play because the last let's play was the last episode was kind of just me introducing a bunch of stuff. This episode will be more dueling involved, even though the dueling in this episode is pretty lame. While well, I have all shadow types out there, that's interesting. They get a dream monster. I'm kind of fucked, but I, I have others. Not that bad. All right. Go, Sucker Commander. All right, I think I'm gonna win this. Yep, I got this one this time, and I wonder if I can fit in one more duel. Probably. Pressing type like three, Griggle. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna try to get one more duel in against this guy with the bull haircut. And the duel will make Mr. Kaiba proud. Okay, Let's see, 50 life points. Let's see. I'm gonna put this thing in defense mode so I can attack it because I can't do any damage this turn. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Alright. Tribute. Oh shit, I haven't got to do this fast. I really should have done my tying better. Okay, come on. Shit. Okay, if it looks like I'm not gonna complete this duel, I'll probably skip to me winning. Because it's, you know, it's, it's inevitable. Shit. Alright, let's see. Come on. Oh, I actually might do this. Let's see, come on. Anyway, in case I don't, um, this end of this duel is going to wrap up this episode. Um, I'm the Splinator here. And next episode, we're going to finish off some of the duels. And, oh, I think, looks like I, oh, wait, shit. Wait, shit, okay. You know, actually, you know, actually I probably could have um, done it in that time. Anyway, um, this is a Splinator, and until next time, I will see you guys... Ooh, actually a good, a good card. See you guys later.